around, but the best that I could do was to wander around in the love that I found until my quest has started asking himself, singing, Can you do what he yes, can you do what he did? Say, Lord, I love you, for you understand. I want to be there on that great judgment on me to touch all the Crowd slowly gathered. They were walking, my Lord, up old Calvary's hill. Listen now. So sad was the scene there. The bird touched their sea. McSpadden of the Gaither Vocal Band wrote that song, brought it to us in Nashville, Tennessee a few months ago. And you know what, Gerald, I love those words, uh, the planet, and I love my verse, and I love to hear me sing. Give me that key again. <laughs> <laughs> One morning at daybreak, a crowd slowly gathered. They were walking by So sad was the 
seen there The bird has their singing Like a lamb he was humble To his father's own will salvation for the plan of salvation just to say Lord I love you just to say Lord I love you for you understand oh I want to be there I want to be there on that green judgment
the, the young man singing that song for I tell you what, the young when I said young, I always think about the Glenn and I are so proud of these young men that the Lord has sent along to help us carry on our ministry. Glenn's been singing for this year. He's celebrating 43 years in full-time gospel singing, and I've been singing, for, yeah, 43 years. And this makes 41 years for me, and so we really thank the Lord for the, yeah, thank you. So we really thank the Lord for these young men. You know what? I'll tell you when we know the Lord sent these young guys to us. is when Glenn and I are sitting on the bus and watching them unload all that heavy equipment. And we know. <laughs> we'll stretch forth a hand and say, bless them, Lord. Is it? <laughs> you know what? Talking about the old days, Glenn and I. Glenn and I went to Stamps Baxter School of Music many years ago. In 1903. <laughs> It feels that long sometimes. It was. But we went there. <laughs> but we went there to learn how to sing this style of music, to learn how to read the shape notes, the I do like re mis. I like it. And when I come in today, somebody, we always get a request for this. I guess we're about the only group now that's going to do what I'm about to do right now, and that's to sing the notes to a song instead of the words. That's different. Uh, do the do re mis to your part. I tell you what, let's do. Let's do a verse and a chorus of Oh Happy Day, and we'll sing the words the first time, then we'll do the next verse and we'll sing the Do Re Mis. Now, <laughs> that ought to be hard enough right there. Right. Oh Happy Day, oh, happy day. That fix my joy, that fix my joy. On thee, my Savior, On thee, my Savior and my God. Well, may this glory. Well, You know what, after 43 years, I believe the old man's singing better right now than he ever sung in his life. You know, Glenn, he thrills me today, no doubt about that. I was going to wait a while to do this, but I, I, I can't wait. Uh, you're, most of you are looking at the Cathedral Quartet, and you're seeing a new face in our group. Uh, a young man uh, from Morristown, Tennessee. Yeah. His name is Gerald Wolf. He's 23 years old. 23. I got socks older than that. I believe you no, got I, them on tonight. I don't have them on. <laughs> <laughs> We're so proud of this young man. He joined us December the 26th. And let me say this. After 41 years of traveling and singing, uh, the Lord sent a young man along that's blessed the hearts of the, the rest of us. Uh, when we knew he was going to need a piano player, uh, there's a G and we had a G and calls. He's yeah. the only man we tried out. Dino Liberace and Lincoln Calls. 
But he's the only man we tried out because when he walked into the room in, at a, in Atlanta where we were going to rehearse with him, sat down at the piano, sang the first song, we knew the Lord had sent him our way. And you know what? I'm not, going to, I'm not going to have him play the piano right now, feature at the piano. I want you to listen to him sing. Uh, the young man has got his dynamite. <laughs> Tell you what, I'm, I'm, I'm going to move uh, right over here where I can get around behind you and look at you. And if you don't do good, I'm going to slap you right off that piano bench. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I want, in fact, Glenn, let's you and I just not sing. Let Mark and Danny and Gerald sing Land of Living. I like that. Sing. There's a place of dazzling beauty No human eye has ever seen I like With gates of pearl and stream said that Gerald has been such a blessing to us the last few days. He's blessed our hearts. and They, they say dynamite comes in small packages, you know. <laughs> Lady walked up to him in Jackson, Mississippi the other night after Gerald got through testifying. She walked up to me and said, he's a short little thing, ain't he? <laughs> I said, yes, ma'am. Every time he pulls his socks up, he blindfolds himself. <laughs> I made that up, Gerald. I didn't tell her that. He don't even wear socks. <laughs> Tonight's the third time he's had shoes on. Ah, <laughs> oh, we're proud. You know what? I, where there's the presence of the Lord Jesus Christ, there's freedom. And I feel so, I feel his spirit in here tonight. 
And I, I, you know what I feel? I feel the love you people are sending our way. And I appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. I really do. But I feel the love of Jesus in here. And where his presence is, there's freedom. Amen. And I want you to listen. I've been standing beside a Glen for 22 years now. Heard the old man sing a jillion songs. He can take a song like this and magnify the name of Jesus. Uh, I think better than anybody I ever heard. Listen as we sing into his presence. go. I'm glad I got my house all in order. And I love to say that. So I'm going to say it again. Go ahead. I'm glad that I'm packed and ready to go and my house 
is all in order. Should he come tonight, I'm ready to go. What a way to go. Yeah, I feel another glory coming on. <laughs> There's a song that we have to do right now. Uh, so, somebody said do it early because they had to, couldn't stay for the whole program. We were up in Millbank, South Dakota several months ago, and, uh, and the snow, oh, was it snow deep? It was cold, too. Yeah, it sure was. Snow was, a, <laughs> snow was about hubcap deep on a Ferris wheel. That, <laughs> I mean, it was deep. But Glenn called to Nashville to check with our talent agency that, we, uh, that books for us, and uh, they give them some good news. This song that we're going to do was, was the number one song. Just, they, they just found out. Right. So about uh, three months in a row, it was number one. And uh, we're so proud of that. Yeah. Bill Gaither produced this album. And Gary McSpadden, Bill Gaither and Gary McSpadden. Some Bill of them may not know who that is. Bill Gaither. He's, yeah, he's an up-and-coming songwriter. We're trying to help out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we sent him a care package for Christmas. I don't know. <laughs> Here's a song called Can He Could He Would He Yes He Can He Could He Would He Did I tried to figure it out, but the best that I could do Was to wander around in the love that I found Till the person started asking himself Singing, can he could he would he, yes he can he could he would he did So like somebody said it was in a song You can think what you choose But let me tell you the news The Lord has loved you all along So if you ask it again Well, the dust of her and sand You trust the man to see for yourself Singing, can he do the good? Yes, he can do the good, he did I'm 
glad that he would. For 22 years, I said a moment ago, I've stood beside Glenn somewhere most every night about the United States or Canada. And, uh, you know, after 41 years for me, 43 for Glenn, I, let me share this with you. And I praise God when I say this, that we're enjoying ourselves right now more than we ever have in our lives. Amen. And it's because of God's blessing. Now, the miles don't come as easy as they used to. Uh, I confess that to you. They don't come as easy as they used to. But we're enjoying what we do more than we ever have in our life. And I've seen so many guys after 25 or 30 years, they had just a form and a ritual with them. You know, I praise God that he's given me joy and excitement to serve him like I've never had before. And I serve him tonight not out of a sense of duty, not because we feel that we have to. We serve him simply because we love him. And you know what? This ain't on the program. Talking about Bill Gaither a moment ago, we do this song once in a while. And uh, I hope I'm not throwing you guys a curve. Give us the key to I Will Serve Thee, Gerald. Just a verse and a verse. I will serve thee because I love thee. You have
One day the master touched me. Boy, I tell you what, now I know that I know that you're not supposed to do this. Here's a song that's not on the program. I like our singing. <laughs> Driving into here last night, we had about twelve hours to drive, and we decided that on the way here that we'd just soon hear us sing as anybody we ever heard. <laughs> no, I made that up. We never No, you didn't either. <laughs> This features Danny Funderburk, and Danny Funderburk, if I was a tenor singer, I'd want to sing just like that little pipsqueak right there. <laughs> he thrills me to death. Danny thrills me to death. Now, I'd, uh, I'd want to sing like that. I wouldn't want to look like it. No, no <laughs> Danny, I just, I just threw that in there. I want you to listen to a song. Now, if this, if this song don't light your fire, your wood's wet. Somebody touch me. Many years he walked in darkness As he groped along the streets With his hands stretched out for pennies Or for just a bite to eat It's the story of the blind man Who met Jesus on his way And with the master's touch The man looked up As the scoffers heard him say I was going to sing that second verse, but the Lord wanted me to say something right here. I don't usually talk an awful lot, but I once was blinded and crippled by sin. Yeah. My mom and dad's here, and they know what I'm about to say, but I used to be in church every Sunday morning and Sunday night. My dad is a pastor of a church, and I was always there. I'm a PK, and I learned how to play church. I learned how to say and do things yeah. around the right people. Yeah, and it became easy just to just to do the things in a just like a former ritual, like George was talking about a while ago. You know, I needed a touch from the Savior. Thirteen years old, I gave my heart and life to Jesus Christ. But you know, I only became really happy when I was 19 and I totally gave him my life and let him become Lord of my life. And that's the touch that if you don't know this evening, that's why we're here. That's why we're singing. You listen to the words of the second verse. I once was blind and crippled by sin. I thank God tonight that he knows me by my name yeah. and I know where I'm going. And if he was to come back tonight, you listen to the words of the second verse. Listen. One day he touched that crippled man And he made him walk again And now the master saw with pleasure He had labored not in vain Like the story of that poor crippled man I once was bound by sin But since my master came oh,
want to hear that chorus one more time. Somebody touch me. sang a lot of songs I said a moment ago this is the most powerful song I've ever heard him sing yeah and I already meant that a month ago Glenn after uh, 43 years and I work with you every night and I believe you're singing better right now than you ever sung your life Glenn and his Glenn's never had a toothache in all his life uh, he ain't got no teeth no <laughs> No, I, Glenn, I don't know why I said that. Back, back during the Christmas break, though, we did stop Glenn from biting his nails. We hid his teeth. <laughs> now, you so, shared enough. All so right. I, so I'm going to let Glenn gum one for you. No, <laughs> Glenn. Now, you shared enough already. I want you to listen to the most powerful song I've ever heard Glenn sing. I want to dedicate it to a good buddy of ours here, Paul Farron. Glenn and I have known for many years and Paul's been a real buddy to us we see Paul all across the country and, uh, and way out in uh, where was we at in Colorado Estes Park and uh, we were kind of new out there are we scared 
But we didn't know how they was going to accept us in Estes Park. And to walk in to see Paul, and Paul come up and hugged our necks. And uh, uh, we appreciate his friendship all down through the years. Paul, God bless you. Here's a song, especially for you. We shall see Jesus. We shall see Yeah. 
know where I'm headed now. Oh, listen. Ooh, listen. We shall see Jesus <laughs> and all of his power, Jerry, and all of his glory. Hallelujah. I'm glad I know him on a personal basis. Yeah. I don't glad I maybe, I think so, this and that and the other. I know I know him beyond a shadow of a doubt. Oh, something somebody said the other day, said, you may know a lot about him, but do you know him? Yeah. Oh, you could call each disciple's name and all them kind of things. But unless you have him as Lord of your life yes. and into your heart, not a head knowledge, but a heart knowledge. Woo, thank you for them, amen. Mm-mm-mm. Listen, I'm glad I'm saved. I'm glad my name is written in the Lamb's book of life. I'm glad I'm a child of the King on my way to heaven and shouting the victory. If you don't like shouting, you better cancel your plans for heaven because I'll aggravate you to death. I'll aggravate you to death. Yeah, watch your pacemaker there, old man. <laughs> my daddy used to take me to hear him sing. Oh, I was a little boy. You know, I, as George told you, we've stood side by side for over 22 years. And there's a song that I want him to sing. I'm glad I didn't came, come seeking justice in my life. I'm glad I came seeking mercy. Yeah, yeah. It's nothing like the mercy of the Lord Jesus Christ. I've never been in the hospital all those 43 years of traveling. God's been so good to me. I've never had laryngitis. Oh, listen. If anybody in the world has a right to get excited and shout a little bit, it's me. That's all right. Oh, I sing with the greatest quartet in the world, greatest bunch of guys. You tell them, Lynn. I'm mean. I'm... <laughs> but you're... <laughs> you know... <laughs> we having fun here tonight. Yes, <laughs> I'm glad y'all could be a part of it, I'll tell you that. <laughs> oh, listen. I really believe that you were is ordained you'd be here tonight. Yeah. I don't believe it's no accident you're here. No. And George, I want you to sing a song. It's on the program. We're supposed to do it, but I want to introduce it. Oh, bless you. I've heard George John sing a lot of songs. You know, there's a lot of bass singers. They sing down low, you know, and they growl around, you know. I'm a pretty good bass singer myself. <laughs> but George is beyond a shadow of a doubt the best bass singer I ever heard. Oh, man, I well. So I don't make any bones about it. We didn't come here to brag on ourselves tonight. We come here to brag on Jesus. But I believe in giving the roses while you can smell them. <laughs> Some of you catch that in a few minutes. <laughs> I tell you, I, during the holidays, you know, we just had 17 days off during Christmas. and I, I was, I'm an old Texan. I was raised on a farm in Texas, and we always had a fireplace, you know, and it was good in the holidays, you know, yeah, to sit next to the fireplace and prop your feet up a little bit. You know, until I was about 16 years old, I thought my name was Get Wood. <laughs> I mean, get Wood, yeah. I, I mean, son, when my dad said Get Wood, you better go get wood right then. <laughs> I love old people. I mean, uh, <laughs> That's why he's so crazy about himself. <laughs> But I want him to sing a song. He can, you know, a lot of bass singers, like I say, they sing low, but George can take a lead, sing it like a lead singer. And this is what I love about George Yance's bass right. singing. And this is one of my very all-time favorite songs. It says, Jesus, have mercy on me. <laughs> But when you 
make up your jewels and call in your own. Jesus, have mercy on me. Jesus, have mercy on one of your children who's failed and been far from the best. Jesus, have mercy on one who's unworthy and already overly blessed. I've heard of the glory that awaits all the saints, but that's too high. To hope to be But when you look in the book And you're calling the road Jesus, have mercy on me Lord, I'm down here Where you used to be but I fail all the tests that you pass, and so I won't be first in the race. But run it was all that you asked. When I stand before you on that fine. That you mainly see It's not justice I'm a need But mercy, oh Lord Jesus, have mercy on me Jesus, have mercy Who's failed and been far from the best? Yes, I have. Jesus, have mercy on one who's unworthy and already overly blessed. I've heard of the glory that awakes all the saints but that's too high to hope to be but when you look in the book and you're calling the Lord Jesus have mercy on me Jesus have I may have shared this with you before, but the Lord just spoke to my heart. Let me share it. I'm from a little town up here in Lenore, North Carolina. I was born in Patterson, an old, dumb, old country boy. And I went into the 82nd Airborne Division, joined the paratroopers, and went to Fort Bragg, North Carolina. And let me have to tell you how dumb I was. I, when I went to the paratroopers, I never had even been in a Piper Cub before. That is dumb. <laughs> Never forget the first time they stood me up in that C-47 and said, jump. And I said, do what? <laughs> I bunked beside a little boy called Mousy Gonzalez. Mousy introduced me to marijuana. Way back then, 1950, 51, 52, 53, I was smoking them left-handed cigarettes. Thought I was the toughest thing in Fort Bragg. A little later on in life, nearly wound up in the gutter Listen. because of the bottle. And when I came to the master, 
I didn't want justice. I didn't come seeking justice. I came seeking mercy. And I claim the word of God tonight. It says, when I confessed my sins to him, invited him into my heart, that he blotted out my yesterdays, never to be remembered again. <laughs> well, I remember those days, and I, I, I'll take scars with the grave to me from those days. But I claim the word of God tonight that said he would remember them no more. And to stand here and to think that I've got a homeland. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> You ask us where we're heading when we leave here? Oh, we'll be gone several days. But you know where we're really heading? We're heading home. There's a home home we're going to. Gerald, let me put you on the spot again. There's a song called Homeland. We sent that album home with you and told you to learn them words. <laughs> I sure hope you learn them because you're going to sing them right now. Do that song, Homeland.
Are you packed and ready to go tonight? Is your name in the Lamb's Book of Life? Have you got a homeland? I'll tell you what, Billy. Since this is your first time here with the Cathedral Quartet, why don't you just share whatever the Lord may have on your heart again right now? I'll tell you what, you, this, this little man knocks my hat in the creek. That's all he is, too. <laughs> yeah. I'm so glad that Jesus loves me. Yeah. And he's made a way that I can go to homeland. You know, I sing that verse, talks about people dying and, and you know, loved ones dying. I've had all that happen to me. But, you know, when I get to heaven, Come on. sure, I want to see grandma and mom and dad, all those people, but I want to see Jesus. Yeah. Whether you believe that or not, I want to see Jesus. Yeah, me too. I want my whole life here to be used to glorify the Son of God and to magnify his name. Here's something that ain't on a program, which is usual. Go ahead, son. I want you to listen. Yeah. I like it already, I ain't <laughs> Magnify you. Yeah. months ago uh, we were in uh, Muncie, Indiana and Bill and Gloria Gaither came it was an evening with the cathedrals and uh, we've been doing that quite often in that uh, area and all across the country we sing sometimes three and a half to four hours sometimes when they have just the cathedrals and Bill and Gloria Gaither came to spend an evening with us as they have in the past Glenn and I have known Bill and Gloria since they were kids We've known most people since they were kids. <laughs> <laughs> you right again, old man, I tell you. <laughs> but <laughs> they, had said, they said on the front row uh, that night, and uh, I gave my testimony as I did a moment ago. And uh, Gloria said later, she said, George, I've heard your testimony a, a jillion times. Uh, at different places where we've been with you. And, but tonight, you really spoke to my heart. And Bill and I asked God to give us a song, especially for the cathedrals. And that was quite a compliment, that they had asked the Lord for a song, especially for us. We left, they left, and about three weeks later, they called. Said, you got to come by our house in Alexandria, Indiana. One morning, we went by, and Gloria had breakfast all fixed for us. You ought to go by there and eat sometime. <laughs> Tell them a cathedral sent you. <laughs> <laughs> but the Lord had given them the song they had asked him for. I've never had a, a verse of song fit my life like the one that God gave Gloria for me. I want you to listen to their latest effort at songwriting called Just an Old Sinner Saved by Grace. And I guess we're going to do this with a track. If you could see what I once was If you could go with me Back to where I started from 
Then I know you would see The miracle of love that took me And its sweet embrace And made me what I am today Just an old sinner saved by grace I'm just a sinner saved by grace When I stood condemned to death He
by the name of Jesus. Who can calm the storms of life? I Nobody like me. I'm about to run somewhere. in the morning I think it was way up in Topeka Kansas one snowy night when the roads were so icy that we were going about 10 miles an hour God gave Mark that song he's my Lord there's no doubt about it you know there's not a doubt in my mind that God didn't give Mark that song just to calm him. I want Mark to come around and sing it one more time. I tell you what, just I want to hear just you folks and Mark sing that song. Could you do that, Mark? Is it in the right key for you? Oh, I don't make no difference singing it out. He's my Lord. Sing it with him. There is no other one. There is no Who can calm the storms of life? Who can calm the storms of life? Like my own He'll give rest. He'll give rest to the weary. Give new life to the hopeless. Oh, there's no doubt about it.
there's one more thing we got to do, Gerald. They wanted another verse of home man a minute ago, and you didn't do it. Would you do it right now? You back on to my 